this is my first ECMID and I'm really thrilled to be here. Uh, I think one of the most important things for the ECMID is the cutting edge and current trends and in diagnosis and also in infectious diseases. So I found that quite interesting. You can do lots of networking uh, and uh, for me uh, what, what has been particularly good is that uh, uh, Besides presentations from my area of interest, which is clinical parasitology, I could hear lots of interesting things on, in all fields of, uh, of infectious diseases, in uh, research methodology, uh, bacterial infections, uh, virology, and uh, the speakers were really top-notch and some of the best uh, in, in infectious diseases in general. So a really well-planned uh, conference, I would say. What, what is special about this ECMIT about me? Uh, I really enjoyed uh, the amount of highly uh, scientifically intense sessions. Uh, and personally, with my uh, scientific interest in microbiome studies, uh, I feel that uh, this area is getting more and more represented at the ECMIT. And this year in Amsterdam, it, it was something special with a lot of people from different countries, uh, different opinions on this topic. Some of the sessions were really, really hot. I think this year's ECMIT was pretty good organized, uh, sessions were, were quite clear and it was easy to follow the things that is interesting. I think sometimes you have in the conferences that there are two really interesting talks at the same time and I think somehow someone managed to tailor this nicely so you don't have to really try to choose between two very interesting studies or very interesting presentations for that matter. I try to attend ECMIT every year and I am certainly going to not miss uh, the one in Paris next year. What I expect is continued update on the global infectious diseases as well as the microorganisms that cause different diseases. I would definitely come back to Paris, uh, especially because uh, from professional point of view, if you do not attend ECMIT and if you are working in the clinical microbiology setting or infectious disease setting, you lose really a lot.